Murph AI. Hello and welcome to Murph Academy videos. In this video, we'll help you find the perfect voice for your voiceover from a catalog of 130 plus versatile voices. I have my script ready here in the project. If you want to learn how to structure your script in studio, do check out our video on structuring script. Let's get started. First, we need to select a block to generate voiceover in a different voice. Now, open the Voice Explorer by either clicking on the Explore AI Voices menu in the side panel or by clicking on the Voice option in the Voice Settings panel. Voice Explorer supports 130 plus voices in 20 plus languages. Here, you can see different voices and information about them like name, gender, and age group. Hover on the voice cards to preview the voice or select the voice for your voiceover. Let's play the preview of the voice Dylan. So we created Better Writer, an AI powered assistant that helps you write better essays and articles. Better Writer has three distinct features with individual value. But for this project, I'd like to go for a female voice that's cheerful and friendly. Let's try again with Natalie. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. For a complete adult diet for your cat and the real chicken he wants, give him the perfect meal. It's the real deal. Amazing. Try as many voices as you want to find a voice that fits your voiceover perfectly. We have different filters in the left panel to make this easier for you. First, we have the Languages menu. There are over 20 plus languages and accents that you can create your voiceovers in. Let us stick to American English for our project. We can filter the voices further based on the gender that the voices identify with. Let's explore all available female voices for our project. You can further filter the voices based on the age range you'd like your voice to be in. We currently support three different age groups, young adults, middle-aged, and kids for you to choose from. Our voices are pretty versatile and can be used for different use cases. You can get curated voice recommendations by selecting your use case from all available options. Since our voiceover is for an e-learning video, let's select e-learning and presentation to view voices that work best for our project. You can also select multiple options if that describes your use case better. Some of the voices here are labeled as pro. The voiceovers created using these voices are available for export only with a pro or an enterprise subscription. As a basic user or user interested in the basic subscription, you can filter out these voices by enabling the Hide Pro Voices option. We are constantly working towards expanding our library of voices based on user requests. We label our newly added voices as new, so you can try the voices as soon as they are out. Once you have decided on a voice, click on Select to select the voice. Let's try generating the voiceover with Rachel this time. Click on the hollow play button again to re-render the block using Rachel, and click on the solid play button to give it a listen. Welcome to our e-learning course on health benefits. That sounds good, but what if I'd like the voice to sound cheerful, serious, sad, or angry? Well, you can change the tone or the style of the voiceover using the voice styles feature. Voice Styles is currently supported only by select voices in the studio. You can find the Voice Styles option next to the Voice option in the Voice Settings panel for the supported voices. For our voice, the default voice style is General. Let's change it to Whispering and re-render it. Welcome to our e-learning course on health benefits. The voiceover is now delivered in an whispering tone. Let's now change it to Sad and see how that sounds. Welcome to our e-learning course on health benefits. It works. You can try different styles to set the right tone for your voiceover. For this project, let's set the tone to friendly. Welcome to our e-learning course on health benefits. Great. I think that works for our project. 
we now have a better understanding on how the voice actually sounds like for our text. We can now apply the voice to other blocks, either one block at a time or to all the blocks at once. Let's first try applying the voice to the next block. Click on the three dot menu here on the active block and select copy block settings. Now select a different block and paste the settings to it. When you paste the block settings, you'll see a prompt that lets you paste other settings like speed, pitch, and style that you might want to apply to the block. I am okay with the default voice settings, so let's select apply. There you go. We now have a script that's read by Nate and Rachel. This option is really useful if you're creating a podcast or an audiobook with multiple speakers or characters. But the voiceover I am working on is for any learning video, so I'd like to use a single voice for the whole project. Click on the block options one more time and click on apply settings to project. You'll once again see the pop-up menu to select the voice settings you'd like to apply to the entire project. Choose your voice options and click on apply to project to apply the voice settings to the whole project. You can also apply only the voice without voice settings to the whole project from the Voice Explorer. Let us head back to Voice Explorer. Now enable the apply to the entire project option and select your voice. I am now going to select Michelle for our voiceover. You can now see that Michelle is applied to all the blocks in our project. Before we conclude this video, let's look at the play button at different places. You can click on the hollow play button in the sub block to generate the voiceover only for the sub block. Similarly, the voiceover can be generated for the a block by clicking the hollow play button here in the voice settings panel. The voiceover is now generated for the whole block. These two play options help you get a sense of whether the voice works for your script without generating voiceover for the entire project. Since we have finalized the voice for our project, we can now proceed to generate the voiceover for the whole project by clicking on the hollow play button in the timeline. Click solid play button to preview. Welcome to our relearning course on health benefits. In this course, we will explore the many benefits of leading a healthy lifestyle. Perfect. The voiceover is generated for the whole project in the voice Michelle. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other videos.